I'd firstly like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that we're working on here along the Maclay River, the Namba people of the Gumbengia Nation, and extending those acknowledgements to the Dungari people of which the lands that we border on, and also continuing that acknowledgement to all traditional owners that have used this rich part of our landscape for thousands of years. My name is Kelly and I am a Senior Environmental Officer for the Soil Conservation Service. We're currently situated in the Yarra Hapney Wetlands National Park. We've been engaged by the National Parks and Wildlife Service in this area who are working closely with the Clybucker Custodian Group in delivering this project. Basically in the 1950s and 60s there was a land drainage type program where essentially the wetlands were physically cut off from the river, created an enormous amount of problems with acid sulphate soils. Essentially soil con has come in, we've done some environmental engineering of reopening the wetlands to the saltwater tide and have created a, a very large and very healthy saltwater wetlands for the Maclay River. So we're really just reverting the land back to the way it wants to be. The aim of this project was to remove the man-made levee walls with the intention that it would allow natural tidal flows to move back into the wetland area and re-establish not only a healthy estuarine area but also encourage better environmental outcomes. A lot of mangrove and uh, endangered ecological vegetation communities re-establishing in there naturally on a massive scale. So it addresses uh, a lot of issues and then all you've got all your eco health such as biodiversity, all our birds of prey, the crabs, the fish, everything. So there's benefits that go right across the community and whatever angle you come from it, this is good stuff. There's very few environmental success stories on this scale that I see anymore. We're just really blessed that it's been a part of our lives from day dot and we know this land inside out. So we know the benefits of what it means for the river system to go back to its natural state because this is a huge significant area for the for the local people. I've been coming here ever since I was a little child so it's really good that we're going to be able to get rid of those man-made structures especially for our next generation. A healthy um, environment is a healthy community. It's a meeting ground for the for the Dungari, Kumbanga, Nyamba, Bunjalang, Biripai peoples. This is an area where they came to meet ceremony. It's a classroom for our younger generations to learn the knowledge of the area. That's why we have large-scale middens that run for 14 to 16 kilometres in length. So it goes to show the scale of why this area is an important place and how many people would come here to meet and thrive because of the health of the river in those times. By restoring the natural flow to this environment, we're not only um, achieving an excellent environmental outcome, but we're also protecting a very culturally significant area. The Indigenous people that use this area to this day have a very strong ongoing connection to country here. We're able to deliver a great environmental outcome. Not only is the environment benefiting, but the people are as well. Our final site inspection before commencing works, uh, we noted that a significant portion of the levee had been um, eroded by floodwaters in the last couple of years. The solution included getting a barge with our plant and machinery unloaded on the site so that we were able to undertake the works with minimal impact. Working with New South Wales Soil Conservation Service to achieve the outcome for this Yarra Happening Wetlands project has been extremely smooth. They just take the project as a whole and honestly, it has made uh, my job easy. So we're very, very happy with Soil Conservation Service, their specialisation, their professionalism, and their drive to do this. They, they can see the need for this giant rehab. That's their sort of world as well. All aspects of their project management and their team are very professional. They're extremely well versed in what they do. And look, honestly, if, if they get involved in any significant environmental rehabilitation project, they're in fact the only ones to go to, to tell you the truth. If you want best practice, that's where you go.